Well, we're getting our moisture. They said around 2.30. You're a little bit early, dirty dogs. So I'm doing the older dishwashers, sorry. See, I have brain fog or whatever you want to call it. I'm looking at it. It's right there. See, they're stacked up. I did uh, three, four, this is number five. Got the wire motor off. I gotta check the inside yet. We got that one to do yet too. I did a fridge earlier. Three to one on the copper motors. Pure copper. All copper. Not pure, but all. Big and little copper. This is the one that has the, uh, I call it half and half. Got aluminum and the middle is copper. But these, you can tell the difference between the two. The one with the aluminum has a thicker thicker shell see the ones that are all copper are thinner see that that's the difference in the uh, stator part it actually looks like a fatter this one just came out of that one there so it must be older because that's really royally rich looking copper like it looks tighter wound, like these don't look as tight wound as this one. Yes, that does work. That was thrown in the trash. It's got a really, really cheap cord on it, like it's stiff. Like, what is there, maybe 10% copper in there and the rest is plastic? Is that why it's so stiff? Could ask Ralph Moore for that. And uh, some of them have these stainless steel whirly birds in them. Actually, I think I'm missing one. Well, I haven't looked in here yet. I'm going to go out in the raindrops for a couple seconds. And, uh, like, I haven't thrown any motors in there, so. That one's got to be either all copper or half and half, like I call them. So, one, two, three. Oh, that one had a smaller motor. Okay, so, yeah. You see? There's another one. It's the ones that are still the plastic tubs. The older tubs with that insulation on them. Oh, look at that. I'm getting my camera all wet. Okay, I knew there was one motor missing. Right there. This guy. That's what was in that other one. And that is all copper also. So, not bad. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Because the uh, aluminum one was done earlier. I did that in an earlier video. But I still take them apart as a regular, so. These are easy. I cut them down the side and pull them out. They're not that difficult. I don't split these down the middle. No, no real need for that. And yes, that other one is at the very bottom. This is what I've been, you see. This is the, the top part is steel and the bottom part is cast aluminum, see. Here's the top part of the housing. That's how it sits on the motor. So that's steel. That's cast aluminum. There's a little clip in there if you can see it. Right there, that little takes those stupid pliers. I usually use a screwdriver or you just bust it out. So irony aluminum, clean aluminum. Yeah, I'm getting okay. I don't know what you were. I don't know what that is. Some type of module. It's been here for a while, Hyundai. This stuff's been just kind of kicking around because I'm trying to strip this stuff, get it out of here. So that's why I'm not tearing into that or that or that or that. Like these buckets are starting to fill up again because I'm just trying to get the mountain down that stuff can be processed later, like even my plug bucket. This one here inside's getting bigger again too. I thought about doing plug soup today. So now I have to go inside this guy. I know, dishwashers, who does them? Well look, see another stainless steel whirly bird. And the clips that hold the heating element. Stainless steel. And yes, they end up in there. So I get at them, they're very easy. There's just a little 
It's easier if you undo the springs first so you're not fighting the door. <laughs> you ghoul me. Finally take this guy out. This thing here, you just spin that around. Uh, there's two rivets. They come right off that stainless steel. And these two guys, I just take them off with the side cutters. And that's all I do. And then the rest is shred. Including that plastic bucket. I think it was time to get rid of this dishwasher, don't you think? Damn, what would make that, cor look at the corrosion on the door from it. Every time you, because the door slides on the, or the, the rack slides on the door, because picture this the, up yet, I have it on its backside, so. And no, uh, those are magnetic stainless. Just shred. Nobody, they used to separate it, but not anymore. So that's what I'm doing. Just farting around as it's, uh. We got this for the next two and a half days. Well, it's a half a day today, all day tomorrow, and then partly sunny, Sunday. So two days full anyway, so. But yeah, there's two more of that type of motor. One there, and you just saw the one over there, so. I'm getting there, and that fridge that I just had over there, I did that up today too. I just picked it up this morning, had a customer call in, so. I scooped, swooped and scooped, and got his little bits of copper out. Can you see the styrofoam? Yeah, I chased it down, and this guy I forgot to bring in with my copper hoard because he was sitting right here. He wasn't where he belonged. So now he's in the bucket, but there's the copper out of the back of the fridge. I chased her down. A little bit of stainless. It's starting again. That brass is getting fuller. I've been putting it in that thing now instead of the bucket. But also, I've been adding more to this bucket. Uh, these little bits and pieces come apart. Yes, yeah, so I go after them. See, they're in the bucket. Getting there. Yeah, they pop right out of the plastic. It's not that difficult. So, but anyways, a little up to date. That big hoard I picked up a week or two ago, I haven't touched any of it. It's there, it's there, it's there. The only stuff I brought in on that non-ferrous run was what I had already done, like the two buckets of wire, my number two copper wire, those pails are empty, that. Like it's what I had done before. This Pretend this stuff wasn't even here. That's what I brought in. So I cleaned up, emptied some buckets. I had three buckets going on four buckets of cast aluminum. So that's what gave me my buckets back. Uh, somebody asked me about this today. Yeah, that's a 30 gallon tank. It's supposed to last 21 hours on low. I don't use it all the time. I might fire it up for half an hour at the most just to get the damp chill out of the air and then I shut her down again. And then that'd be all I use it for the whole day. That's if I'm not running the beast. So, yeah, it's a nice little machine. I paid a hundred bucks for the tank. It was empty, of course, and that thing. It cost 30 bucks. It's a buck a pound to fill that tank, so. And those heaters new are like 200 bucks, I think. Works good. Just can't turn that open fast. You gotta go, er, er, er. Did I turn it open fast and it shut this down? pressure went too fast. I ended up calling Mr. Heater and they actually got back to me and she says take the valve thing off tap it a couple times on the side of the tank you might hear a click you might not because you're tapping so you hook it back up crank a little bit at a time quarter turn fire it up then you can open it all the way up and I've been following her instructions so and it's been working good ever since so I was a little disappointed all of a sudden it didn't work well money tied into it and it don't work <laughs> so but that's it so I'm gonna finish this one up I'll bring another one in another one in just continue on it's 
It feels like Saturday, but it's Friday. And that's what I'm doing. Uh, some of them tools that you saw me get with all this hydro cable, they're in that bin. They're still in their containers. I haven't done anything with them. All of them are there. There are tools that were in the toolboxes. This stuff is all strippable because it's one strand, right? That way you consider one strand. It would be so easy to do with the carpet knife. And I don't know what this thing is. I just found that the other day in this bucket too. I have no idea what it is. But uh, this thing was in here. And he says that's all brass. And okay, that's perfect. Have to add that to the hoard too. Let's take that steel handle off and see if it's good to go. So and he gave me the bin with it. It's all broken. He didn't want it back. So it just contains it a little bit and I've already added some stuff to it so <laughs> you use what you got right? so anyways there you go Ooh, that's 11 minutes it's a lot of gibber gabbing so I'm getting to work have an awesome Friday enjoy